Good dog, good dog. You're making it, good dog. Oh, don't fall. Fun. And I got the board. Oh, you made it, you're making it, good dog. Good dog. The other puppies are here for moral support. Yeah, yeah. Good. Climbing up the stairs. <laughs> The butter is a once in a lifetime experience. It's about the butter. The butter makes it good. Breakfast of champions. It's good. What do you write it? It's like so crumbly and soft at the same time. It's really soft. Mm. <laughs> Pineapple King Bakery. On Irving. <laughs> this is Vince's new car. You like my new toy? 22, so I'm a rapper. Nice. Oh, look at that. This is like a James Bond car. It's a Bentley Continental GT. This is so nice, and it smells so good. <laughs> I don't even know what this is. Also, it closes the wind. Ah. Yeah, they, they just make it like really fancy. You can be um, an Uber driver in this. I know. <laughs> Met up with my friends Vince, Vinny, and Manesh in San Francisco. We're driving back right now. They were helping me out with how to ship the calendars. He is such an inspiration to me. He came from a very working class family and actually they lived off of food stamps for a really long time and it's just really incredible and inspirational how he was able to grow his business from there. So I thought that I would share with you guys a few more details on the calendar and an update on what is going on. If you guys missed the last few vlogs, we are creating a calendar, a Gatsby calendar for 2017, which I will be selling and shipping out myself. That was one of the reasons why I drove up to San Francisco this morning was to meet with Vince who sells and ships a lot of different things. It's all done. I spent the weekend editing and creating the cover photo. No, don't look. Here's the cover. Woo, look at that cover. What the printer is gonna do is lay out the entire calendar and get ready to print it out. They're gonna create a sample and send that over to me. I gotta buy all the supplies and order all that up front. We have a few more special surprises, so I'll be sharing that with you guys in a future vlog, but that is where we are right now. That's your calendar update. And for lunch today, I thought we would switch things up and make some chicken ramen. I'm gonna be using just this chicken flavored ramen over here. Should be super simple and easy. Let's get started. Thinly slice some green onions. First, let's make a soft boiled egg. While we wait for this to boil, let's slice up some chicken. I'll just take both of the breasts. Let's stick our egg inside of the water for six and a half minutes. Meanwhile, let's make an ice bath. 
With a few minutes to spare, let's add some spinach. I'm just gonna put that in the ice bath first. Put it on the side. Take the egg out and place it inside of the ice bath for three minutes. Since I have this silly ramen maker over here, I thought that I would use this instead to microwave it so it'll be a lot faster. Pour it into the fill line. I do have a leftover ramen broth packet from a better ramen, so I thought that I would use that instead. This one looks a lot better, and then we just add hot water to this. Okay, the ramen is done. Noodles. Add the egg here. Spinach. There we go. Let's add it to the side here. Let's add our shichimi pepper here. This is like ramen pepper. Looks pretty good. Chicken ramen. It makes me happy. I haven't had like ramen like this in a while. Mission accomplished. Okay, I am headed off to the gym finally. Gonna hit some legs. We'll see you guys at the gym. Lake day out of the way. I'm gonna stop off at the supermarket right now. We are gonna be making some dessert for tonight. I don't know why, I just feel like eating dessert. <laughs> okay, let's get all the baking goods. Could totally just buy one of these. <laughs> we need to get some special dark cocoa powder, made in chocolate chips, peppermint extract, and green food coloring. A lot of you guys have been asking for a while now what vlog equipment I use for filming. There's not that much, but I thought that I would give you a quick tour right now. This is pretty much all I use, and my camera. This is my current camera. It is a Canon G7X with a flip-up screen so I can see myself when I'm vlogging. My Canon camera goes through batteries like crazy. I have two spare batteries along with the battery that's currently inside of the camera. We have two battery chargers at the same time. The only other camera I use for filming is my iPhone 6S. This is mainly for the footage of the gym. As for the rest of the stuff here, it's all tripods. Tiniest one and the oldest tripod. The rubber feet all came off. You just open it like this. You can set it down and you can angle your camera. I use this mainly for filming my cooking segments. Next, we have our selfie stick. I use this mainly for filming my Gatsby Eye view footage. The next two tripods are relatively new. I got one of these Gorilla tripods over here. These are really cool. I guess all the vloggers have them. My final tripod is this Alto Pro Vanguard. I've been using this recently for my cooking vlogs as well. Whoa. You can lock it in place, stick the camera on here, staring directly down. For example, this is how I film the Gatsby on the bed. I stick the camera over here and you basically get a nice view of Gatsby here. One thing that I wanted to do is when I want to switch between this Gorilla Pod and this tripod, they use different quick release plates. When you screw this onto your camera to hold it in place, this plate here does not fit in this mold. I found this quick release plate that works for both tripods, but unfortunately, it requires an Allen wrench in order to use it. So when I'm at home, I usually screw this quick release plate on, and this quick release plate fits in both this Gorilla tripod as well as in this tripod here. So that's my workaround. Hope you guys found that informative. I was featured in the Creator Spotlight on YouTube and the main thing that I like to stress is that you don't really need any of these special tripods or anything in order to vlog. I started off with using my iPhone 4 um, and I didn't even buy a tripod until a lot later. I hope you guys learned something and let's continue on with the vlog. Good dog. Back up. Shrub. Gatsby's got the fastest reflexes in all the town. Back up. I think it's time for us to do an aquarium update. 
As you guys may notice, I moved a few of the coral pieces. The Ganyopora over here opened up. Next, the Cinerina actually has moved the most. I feel bad for this coral, but I'm actually now really happy with the placement. There were so many large coral pieces in the aquarium, and when they were all grouped together, it looked kind of weird, so I tried to spread them out as much as possible. This pink Monty Cap has made a full recovery. There are no dead spots anymore. Everything looks pretty good. My friend Vince, who creates the halo belts, which is the LED dog colors, just gave me some more to give to the new dogs at the park. Especially now that it's getting darker at nighttime, you want to make sure that your pet is safe and you can find them. Put a link in the description below and type in the coupon code GATSBY for 30% off. We'll see you guys at the park. Oh. Look who it is, it's Sean. Hey. I haven't seen him in a few days. <laughs> it has been a few days. Okay. We're headed off to visit our buddy Nick. Carcinogenic. Carcinogenic. Oh, hey. Hey, <laughs> what's up? You want a cold sandwich? Oh, it's hot, for sure. What's going on on TV? Someone's working out. <gasps> oh, look at this sandwich he made for us. Dang, dang. Look at that. <laughs> oh, man. That was good. I'm so full. Ah. Wow, it's a hoopa. Receive the gift. Yes. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we got him. We just made it back home and it's time to bake some dessert. I'm excited. Mint chocolate chip cheesecake brownies. Sounds super good. They're gonna be in a cupcake form. The recipe is from BuzzFeed and I will put a link in the description below. Here are all the ingredients you will need. The recipe requires two parts, a cheesecake part and a brownie part. So first, let's make the cheesecake part. In the bowl, we are going to add eight ounces of cream cheese and we beat it until it is smooth. Now we add a quarter cup of sugar, one egg, half a teaspoon of peppermint extract, four drops of green food coloring, and we beat until smooth. Next, we fold in one cup of mini chocolate chips. Okay, and we're done with this and we set it aside. All right, next, let's make the brownie portion. Let's preheat the oven to 350 degrees. And in a separate bowl, we are going to whisk together half a cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of sugar, a third cup of dark cocoa powder, and one teaspoon of baking soda. Now let's melt half a cup of butter. Okay. Now let's add our half a cup of butter and two eggs and beat until smooth. Now we add a tiny bit of the brownie mixture to each cupcake. We stick this in the oven for 10 minutes. Well, these already filled all the way up to the top. Anyway, let's try adding a little bit to each one of these. Add these back into the oven for 15 more minutes. Okay, and while we wait for those to bake, let's play some Mario Kart 8. People from all around the world are playing. Here it goes. Go! Getting our boost. Okay. And the red shell. Okay. We're going through this Shy Guy village here. Okay. And a little bit sloppy. A red shell. Okay. Final lap. Here it goes. Last chance to get him. Alright, I got a mushroom. That's not bad. Go! Go, third place! Yes! Third place is good. I'll take it. Ah, uh, they look okay. They probably still taste pretty good. It won't even come off. It doesn't even taste good. <laughs> The cheesecake part just tastes like toothpaste. Brownies with toothpaste on top. Yeah. 
Don't make it. That was no good. Out of 10, I would give that like a three and a half. I'm sad. <laughs> that doesn't taste good. Tastes way better. Want to watch Gatsby go crazy? Watch this. <laughs> Bring it back. Good job. <laughs> Bring it back, Gatsby. Thank you. Thank you so much you guys for watching today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a big like and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Good night. Cut Cheetos and some milk or cream cheese. I'm a little scared of this. This looks pretty gross. <laughs> Oh, I just confused my brain because when I 